What is that I see? White wings, perfect hair, and rather short. My, my, I found a cute little angel. This really must be my lucky day. Have you come to bless me? Grant me with some good luck, or are you here to scold me for doing my job too well? Did I corrupt one of your precious humans? I told you angels before, if they really were truly holy and deserving of them pearly gates you love so much, they'd never take them off her. <laughs> I know it's just you, my darling. Can't help but want to tease you. It's in my nature. I see those lovely little white wings of yours, and I can't help myself. It's in my nature to take pleasure in making fun of innocent little angels like you. Plus, that bashful face of yours makes all the scolding you give me worth it. I rarely get to see it, because... Because I work schedules. So I need to make sure I see it as often as I can whenever I'm with you. You're working with all them goody two-shoes and me working with the sinners. We rarely cross paths unless we get assigned the same human. That's only happened once, darling. So the odds of it happening again are slim to none. Or as I like to say, a snowball's chance in hell. <laughs> Especially after what happened last time we worked together. Where is that human now, by the way? My memory's a little fuzzy. I can only remember all the times we were, uh, <laughs> distracting each other. We spent a lot of quality time together, darling. We learned a lot of new things about each other. We learned about, you learned about the cowboy hat rule, and I learned that angels' wings really are sensitive. Especially when I run my fingers up and down those lovely feathers of yours. Your face turns so red, darling, I could mistake you for a demon if it weren't for those big wings of yours and that rather innocent look of yours. Oh, darling. I know you look innocent, but appearances can be deceiving. Would an innocent little angel like you make all the noise you did with me? Squirm under my touch. Beg for me to do such unholy things to you. My darling angel, I might be the demon here, but I seen you do sinful things. Some of them top my... No, that's a lie. You're nowhere near as bad as I am. And I am the one that introduced you to and helped you do all those naughty things. Some of them we even did together. I'd like to take at least a little bit of credit for that. I've worked hard to corrupt humans, but never tried to corrupt an angel like yourself before. I'd say you're some of my finest work. And well, I guess you made me a little nicer, darling. As much as I hate to admit it, I'm not as cruel as I was before working with you. Obviously, I've not grown too soft. Wouldn't be able to be a good demon anymore if that was the case. But you, you changed me. For better or for worse. And I've done the same for you. Love you too, my darling angel. As much as I enjoy Tisha, I do. The Lord's saying this is making every inch of me burn. But I do adore you, darling. Which is, uh... <clears throat> Why I need to ask you something serious. I, uh... <clears throat> well, this is hard. I burn for you, darling. You make me want to be a little nicer to humans, I damn Say thanks when people hold the door open for me. Hells, you even make me want to help a little old lady cross the street some days. But I can't, I can't keep missing you as much as I do. I can't stand the days we're apart. Not yet. I ache for you. 
for your touch to be wrapped up in those wings of yours sleep by your side and wake up to you clinging to me will you hold your horses for a second longer I'm pouring out my heart to you and you're poking fun at me that's not very angel like you you're acting more of a demon than I am at the moment Look, darling, what I'm getting to is that we should be together all the time, not having to worry about if anyone finds out about us. What would happen to us if we were caught being punished by literal Satan himself or whoever it is in charge of them pearly gates? I, I want you to damn yourself. Become a demon like me. So we can be together in hell. It'd be a hell of a lot easier and faster than me trying to become an angel. I know we could. But they'd find us eventually. They'd hunt us down, find us. We'd never see each other again. I'd rather have a lifetime with you in just a few years than be forced to say goodbye. Eternity simply isn't worth having if it ain't with you, darling. I don't remember how I managed to live without you. I want to do nothing but breathe the same air as you, live the same realm as you, share the same bed with you every night without having to sneak out of it before dawn. I know I'm asking a lot from you, darling. But I thought about it a lot. It's the only route we can go down if we truly want to be with each other for as long as time will let us. I, I know I can't become a good little angel like you. No one would allow me to be after the things I've done. Not even if I spent the next thousand years being nothing but nice to people. I'd still be a demon. But you, angels are damned for the silliest reasons. You wouldn't even have to do anything that evil. Maybe just trip someone up or... Give someone the wrong advice or a blessing or some anything, become damned like me. You wouldn't even have to torture damned souls or creatures. You'd just be a fallen angel, nothing else. I looked into it, and as long as I'm by your side, you'll be fine. Darling, please, I'm on my knees for you here. I know I'm asking a lot, I know, but I don't want to keep our life secret no more. I'm tired of sneaking around and constantly having to change plans so no one spots us, having to kiss in alleyways and find a new hotel to stay in every week. I want it to be just us, not worrying about who could see us or what other people think, just us, me and you. The demon and the fallen angel. No one batted eye at us. We'd finally be able to hold hands in public. Please. Just think about it. For me. As much as it hurts me to say. Okay, darling. Take as much time as you like. It's a big thing for me to ask from you. Just, just let me know what you decide, please. Don't leave me waiting for you. Just, uh, just one final kiss before I go. Please, darling. I love you, my darling angel. Will me again. I promise. Thank you.